morning. Good morning, friends. Facebook seems to have changed their format again, so bear with me. I hope that I'm here with you. Uh, it's going to be closer to 9.30 on these days of camp. Thanks for your patience. We just got done with a staff meeting here uh, on this beautiful Wednesday here at Rainbow Trail, uh, here at the Ferkel outdoor, uh, outdoor worship area. Got worship in a few minutes, but if you want to spend a few few moments in uh, devotion, we'll read Christ in Our Home together. I got a, a guest coming here. Hopefully, uh, it invites today's devotion invites us to John chapter six. I got to double check the verses here, uh, forty one to fifty one. So if you want to read along in John six, forty one to fifty one, I almost got it, and then we'll uh, we'll have a guest. Rowan, Hi. it's going to read uh, uh, Christ in Our Home for us, with us, here today. So, here we go, if you want to dwell for a few minutes in God's Word, starting in verse 41. Then the Jews began to complain about Jesus, because he said to them, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They were saying, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I have come down from heaven? Jesus answered them, Do not complain among yourselves. Uh, no one can come to me unless drawn by the Father who sent me, and I will raise that person up on the last day. It is written in the prophets, and they shall be all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father except the one who is from God. He has seen the Father. Very truly, I tell you, whoever believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate manna in the wilderness, and they died. This is the bread that comes down from heaven, so that one may eat of it and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Uh, a, a wonderful devotion that kind of cross crosses with uh, our theme today as we explore the boundless love of God through the depths of God's love. Uh, and we'll, we'll be talking about Jesus' uh, crucifixion uh, and the, the, the depths that God uh, goes to know and to love and to connect with us in relationship along the journey. So, uh, to share Christ in our home with you, uh, we have our, our resident woodworking expert and our very own Rowan Adams. Hello. So today's Christ in Our Home is titled Bread from Heaven. Jesus said, I am the bread of life, verse 48 from John 6. As a present day reader, as present day readers of John, we know something about Jesus' true identity. The Word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as the Father's only Son, full of grace with him. John 1 14. But for the early Jewish Christians in the community which the gospel was first addressed for, Figuring out who Jesus, must, who Jesus was must have been hard. Their prior understanding of God had been radically altered. Some sources say that some of them were kicked out of the synagogue. Now what? It happens today too. You come to new understandings of Jesus' love, justice, and compassion, and figuring out and finding yourself no longer at home or welcomed in the church you once knew very well. Indeed, now what? Perhaps there's something Jesus said. For I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. For believers, now and then, struggling to make sense of Jesus' word, the promise is that tr the promise is that trust in him, not their places of faith community, would sustain them. A God who feeds them, a God who wants and a God who wants them in their lives. Feed my soul, Lord, when I am hungry for clarity and truth. Amen. Amen. Today's prayer concerns are for farmers, bakers, and those who feed us. And for Rowan and woodworkers all around that make beautiful things to help us uh, continue to learn and grow in life and faith. So, God bless you, beloved. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, a, a little bit later. So, like 9.15, between 9.15, 9.25, grab your coffee, sit and hang out, and we'll pop in, maybe a new guest tomorrow. Uh, but God hold you as we wood carve and as we study. And as we play here at camp, may God bless you on this journey.